Today, Trevor's going to show us how to assemble the Everyone ER20, a cool new printer that has all sorts of cool stuff built into it, such as dual Z rods, a glass bed, a 32 bit board, the silent 2209 steppers, and auto bed leveling. Okay, let's start the build. So we'll take the base part that we uh, have here straight out of the box. You can see the padding is still on and everything, and that's okay for now. We actually kind of want it to hold everything in place. Now we'll take the gantry and the print head area. Here you can see all the connections available and all the items that still need to be connected. And we'll stick that aside for now. Next for the gantry assembly, we have to take the uh, Z rods. We need to just move the print head out of the way. And we'll start screwing in the Z rods, one on each side, just to get them connected. And now the other side. And we want to connect the top. You can see how it fits right in there. Now we'll go back to the base and from the back of the machine, we're going to mount the gantry on top. There we go and it slips right in there. Now we'll turn the machine so that we can access the screws that are on the bottom that hold the gantry in place. Here's the screw. We'll just screw that in to hold it in place. As you can see, there are two screws on each side of the gantry. And just do some final tightening. We don't want to over tighten it, but we do want to make sure it's pulling down the gantry nice and snug. Okay, now we'll turn it back over. We'll make sure everything moves as expected. Now we're just tightening the couplings on the lead screws here, just to make sure they grab. And by rotating the couplings, you can see that we can move the Z axis up. Now we're going to take the uh, print head assembly and we're going to connect it to the axis. We should make sure that the wiring is in place here. There's a little area that it just kind of snaps into to make sure it's nice and tight as we screw it into the base. And this design actually makes it nice and easy. It's just one component that we screw in. And you can see the auto bed leveling device is right here on the right side and we don't have to worry about it because it's locked right into place. And let's remove the foam padding from underneath the bed. And we'll remove the clips that are holding the glass bed onto the heated uh, metal bed. And now we have to remove the wrapping that protects the glass during shipping. Now you see it's on there pretty good. And it's just on there with surface tension. So you get to a certain point and you can just pull it off. There we go. And you can see the ink on top of the glass bed, nice and clean. And we'll just replace it back onto the bed. 
Now we'll take our glass clips and put them into place. Two in the front and two in the back. And these are nicer than the binder clips because they don't take up as much room. There we go. Now we have to turn the machine around to the back so that we can connect the rest of the wiring. The wiring's pretty easy to understand. And they are labeled, so we'll get the right ones into the right place. And that's good to go. Now we have some additional screws for the gantry. We're just going to tighten them from the back side here. And we'll just push the bed out of the way so that we can reach the screw on this side of the gantry. One more to go. Just a nice double check of the tightening. Now we need to connect the spool holder. You can see it's held on just by two screws. Now we can take off the protective film on top of the LCD and install the knob. Now what we can do here is kind of just visually gauge each side of the axis to make sure that they're parallel with the bed. We want to make sure that it's uh, nice and straight. Let's plug it in. And let's get it to home. Now we can see the auto bed leveler device is finding the position of the bed. Okay, let's load up some filament. Now that it's hot, we're going to raise it up a little bit and ask it to extrude some filament for us just to make sure that there are no gaps and it's feeding correctly through the extruder. And there we go. We'll just remove the filament so that we can go ahead and do our initial leveling. And we're just lowering the z-axis here so that we can make sure that it snags the paper um, and it pulls slightly as we pull it forward, but it won't push backwards. And we'll save that. And that should do. And we'll stick the micro SD card in. And on the LCD screen, we'll go and tell it to print from the card and start the print. Just a couple things to note as we were assembling things that we've noticed. So of course it does have a Bowden extruder and it is the same hot end as the Thinker S and SE. Now we did notice that the E-steps were set a little bit low. They were set to 93, but it needs 97.89. One small thing that we did notice also is that it was hard to insert and remove the micro SD card, but we do have word that they're working on that. And now it's gonna do its sample points. What this will do is actually measure any inconsistencies with the bed leveling itself and make up the difference as it's printing. And you can see it's gonna do nine points altogether, of basically a three by three grid that it'll sample. And here we go. As you can tell from our assembly here, it's pretty easy to put together. And it took roughly 20 minutes, maybe a little less to go ahead and do it in real time.